morning everyone. Um, I have a bag of empties. Right, um, first of all the makeup, I've already filmed this so it could be up or it may be coming up. Um, kind of a summary thing and I've used the Marc Jacobs eye palette. The Fantasine which is part of the Coconut collection. I absolutely love it. It's so summery because somebody will ask. Maybe. Right, empties. Unsurprisingly, Sopa Dupa is featured. I have the new launch, which is the Nourishing Coconut, and it's absolutely beautiful. I kind of, I kind of, I wish it was, it's a gel consistency, which is very nice, a clear gel. I want it to be sort of a creamier looking product. When I think of coconut, I think creamy. I don't know why. Just one of those weird things about me. I haven't washed it out properly because... That scent is just fabulous. It's so summery and beautiful. And I swap between this and the ginger, but it's so beautiful. It doesn't strip the skin. Skin feels very smooth after. Um, it does have shea butter, it has orange oil, and it doesn't have any sulfates in here um, as well. So beautiful, love it. Also from Sopa Dupa is the Zesty Lemon Body Scrub. Now you can get body scrubs in the tube or in the pot. If you like a body scrub but you don't like it too abrasive, this is the one to look for. Um, it's more creamy, more silky to use. I prefer the pot because it's a little bit more scrubby and I like the ginger, but the Zesty Lemon is very nice. It's very refreshing, great on a summer's day. It really does take off the dead skin cells, but I much prefer the big pot scrubby stuff um, but very very nice and I probably would maybe grab it again in the summer when it's really warm I do love a zesty scent and um, what else have I got oh I need another one I think this is my second this is the Jane Scrivener nourishing cleanser um, I have had PR from Jane Scrivener but just to be clear I did buy this and I will be buying another one luxurious very much a massage in a jar tub it's beautiful i use it as a first cleanse i use it as a second cleanse i use it as a treatment and it's just gorgeous on the skin and it lifts away all the makeup really cleans out your skin without leaving it feeling tight and dry and it smells amazing i love jane scrivener products as you know and this is top of my list it's probably my favorite cleanser now i do love emma hardy still but just for the luxuriousness and the sort of massage and it makes me really work the product a favorite this is the oskia renaissance cleansing gel i've used this for years generally i use gels as a morning cleanse i would repurchase this it's lovely it's gentle it really sort of cleans the face for the rest of the day um i do have a lot of cleansers to go through for the morning i stocked up before i finished my beauty pie subscription so i have got a lot but i would get this again also, just to say, I have got the windows open because it's a really hot day, so apologies when you can hear traffic noise. This is the um, Devine's New New Shampoo, which is um, for highly processed or brittle hair, and I loved it, as you know. Really loved this. It gave my hair such a shine and a texture and a softness, and it's just beautiful, and I would buy this again. Um, the only facial mist I'm currently using... <laughs> Two handbag size La Roche Posse Cerazinc. I have got some of the larger sizes and another handbag size. I do like the zinc in the summer. It just antibacterial, just keeps my skin on a level, and I love these. I think they're such a great price. Definitely a great price. And you can get them from just about anywhere and everywhere. Um, but yeah, a must. We mentioned it, Moringa Cleansing Bar from Emma Hardy. I do have one in my stash because I love it. Um, I would always have Jane Scrivener and I would always have Emma Hardy. Just can't be without it. This was a sample. I ordered a few bits from the body shop and it was the Adriatic Peony Body Wash, which I really liked. Um, I thought it might be too floral and I don't do floral, but this has quite a warmth to it with almost like a spicy edge which I really really loved and I would consider buying that I like it just for a change from the Sopa Dupa very very nice this is a bath and shower cream um, from the Spa of the World range you know about my skin woes I won't go on about it now but this was a must-have needed it essential 
it's just I've always got one I've got another one it's Clarins skin beauty repair concentrate SOS it says for sensitive skin if you have any irritation redness issues it's a lovely oil a very gentle oil you can use it on just the areas of concern over the full face for me it just really soothed my skin initially when I started with my skin problems and I love it and then I've talked about this I was fortunate to be asked to be part of the Bojan Birch um, focus group when Elijah or Elijah um, Chu was developing his um, superfood series and I was sent samples of the products which I have here um, to try and fill out you know details and my thoughts and everything and these are the samples I still have what's missing I still have the um, face mask because you don't need a lot which is great and the serum I think I featured it in another video and I got rid of it so I'm sorry about that so there are two cleansers a facial mist a serum and a powder mask that you can mix the beauty of the superfood range is that you can use them individually or you can mix them and use them how you want so there's lots of alchemy going on there you become your own apothecary in your bathroom and there were ones I preferred I'll give you a brief outline um, and very kindly he sent a full-size product of the favorite item which for me was the serum and another one which was the cleansing oil and I've also got the balm cleanser so first of all this was the lemon water hydrosol tonic which you can mix with the mask and put it all over your face very refreshing very uplifting felt very light on the skin it's not a super wet spray smelt lovely and beautiful ingredients across the board with this range so I liked it um, but I'm using the Cerazinc and facial mists for me are not an essential they're kind of an added luxury next the tomato seed cleansing fluid um, this I liked when I mixed it with the balm but on its own for me I just found it a bit too it's beautifully oily and rich which I loved but it almost sticks to the skin seals itself to the skin and it was very difficult to remove i think the formula has been tweaked slightly don't quote me on that but i think so but mixed with the balm it is amazing pairing beautiful and i'm lucky enough to have both full-size products so i liked it i loved what's in it simple as that when you read the ingredients it's just like a recipe book it's amazing um but for consistency which you know i'm a bit funny about consistency i just found it a bit to my skin that's all but I love the product when I'm mixing it and um, the mask the powdered mask I am very much I do like a jar with a cream mask and you just put it on or I love a peel mask you know that um, so a powder mask for me is often a bit of a nuisance and I am a bit messy and I am a bit wasteful and I can create chaos so initially I was a bit mm, I don't know how I feel but when I was mixing it with the facial mist and I was you know working it in different ways myself with other products I really loved the feeling of my skin when I took it off just so smooth and it looks so clean um, so patience and time is the answer with that one and um, the results on my skin I really loved um, my favorite was the serum um, which I have the full size of now just the ingredients alone had me absolutely salivating over it but beautifully rich facial oil it just felt like it oozed onto my skin and I love that feeling where it's almost warm and it almost sizzles on the skin it's so beautiful that was my absolute favorite um, I really really loved the balm the cleansing balm and I have a full size of that um, it has I know I spoke to a few people who this smelt very different and of course everybody smells and perceives things differently this sort of has a blue cocoon scent about it the May Lindstrom blue cocoon it has a blue tansy warmth about it but it smells very green which I really really love and I loved it on its own great cleanser on its own but great when you mix it with other products so 
they are now empty and they were samples sent to me and I do have some of the full size products so you will see those in a skincare video as well or skincare videos and that's it that's all the empties for now and I'm no doubt I'll be back with more empties very very soon there are a couple more PR things coming up because people have approached me with products that I've been really interested in one you know I spoke about thinning hair that the older I've got my hair is thin anyway but the older I've got the more I've noticed it's thin and you may remember I bought um, a shampoo that's supposed to work for thinning hair and I didn't like it at all it gave me dandruff it really didn't work for me and it's something that I have been looking into in other products but I have a PR um, item coming um, specifically for thinning hair so watch this space and there are a couple of other PR bits that I've been really interested in um, so yeah it's it's nice when things pop up that you know you'd either buy yourself or you have an interest in and I hope you will as well so that's coming up at a later date right I'll leave it there. I'm going to throw all this in the recycle bin now and I will see you again in another video. Bye. Bye.